In this video, you'll learn how to pronounce the American English long O sound. Do you know that most non-native English speakers pronounce one of our simplest and most common words different from native English speakers? And that word is no. Let me say the word no two different ways for you. Is the first or second one the American English pronunciation? No? No. Keep watching for the answer. So was my first or second no the American English pronunciation? Let me say them again if you didn't catch it the first time. No? No. The second one, no, has the American English long O sound. Your language most likely has what seems to be a long O sound, but it's probably a bit different from our American English long O. The long O in most languages is a simple, pure vowel O. While in American English, it's actually a diphthong or a blend of two different vowel sounds. So let's look at the O sound in detail. You hear both an O and a U sound in there in American English. O, O. Do you hear the glide and the length of the sound? It's not just a simple clipped O, but O. Listen to the American English no again. No, no. Look also how my mouth moves as I glide from the O to the U sound. O. I start with my mouth quite a bit open and then I close it. O. O. And did you notice that my lips are rounded to make this sound? O. You can hear the long O in words like go, old, phone, home, soap, loan, slow, and window. Like all English long vowel sounds, there is more than one common spelling for this sound. So let's look at some typical spellings for the long O. A single O within a syllable is common, like in words go, cold, both, open, focus, moment, and almost. Another possible spelling is O-E with a consonant between the two letters. It could be a T, a C, an L, or various different consonant letters can come between the O and the E. Here are some examples. Hope, phone, home, vote, whole, stone, and alone. Here's a third common spelling for the O sound. O-A, as in boat, road, goal, soap, loan, coast, and throat. And the last common spelling is O-W, as in no, slow, bowl, growth, window, and follow. Let's practice the long O in some sentences now. I'm so cold. Can you please close the window? My goal is to buy a home and a boat. Follow this road to get to the coast. I hope to go to Rome next year. The show is almost over. 
Now the good news is that if you've been using the long O sound from your native language to pronounce the American English long O sound, people will probably understand you. But using that O will give you a noticeable accent in English. So have you been pronouncing the word Coke as in Coca-Cola correctly? Not sure? Then please watch my video, How to Pronounce Coke, to make sure you're not saying something that sounds dirty in English and often makes Americans laugh. You might also like to compare the long O sound to the short O sound in English. Please like and share this video and thanks for watching.